This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Ron Galpern. He is the controller for the city of Los Angeles. And sir, there is no doubt you have been making noise. You have been putting out audits on various departments. I want to ask you, though, about those audits and what happens once they are issued. Because the headlines are great. They're flashy. But then what? That's a great question. Um, what we've really been doing since I took office, and it'll be two years on the 1st of July. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, is to really focus the audits in such a way as to make recommendations that various folks have bought into mm. and that are actually possible to execute. So for example, we did an audit of street services and what kind of a job they're doing when it comes to repaving our streets. And we had a number of recommendations, particularly about a fee which is paid for by those who cut into our streets, and action is being taken on that. We've also had a number of other audits where we have planned ahead in terms of what those actions were, partnered with council members, with the mayor, with others, so that there is backing to make those changes. Because you can have the best recommendations right. in the world, what difference does it make if you don't actually make a change? And that's been vital for us. So have changes been made? I know you've only been in office for about two years, so it takes time. But, you know, what are we seeing in terms of those recommendations actually being put into action? Well, we actually have seen a number of those recommendations put into action. I'd always like to see more of them and right. more quickly, but uh, things in government don't quite work as quickly as we'd no, like I them understand. to, especially coming from the private sector as I did. Right. I'm used to a different pace. Right. Uh, but we've also put out a tremendous amount of data about the city. So for example, you can go online, there's the virtual checkbook of the city, there's every right. item we buy. But let me ask you about pacing though. I mean, look, I understand the city of LA is large. I, I'm not trying to take that away, but why by definition does pacing need to be slow? Oh, pacing shouldn't be slow at all. And right. I have to say, I'm very impatient. Okay. Uh, but uh, speeding that thing up requires a lot of people to kind of go along with that as well. And it's about inspiring people. It's about getting people motivated to actually get off there, you but know what. Look, I mean, Mr. Garcetti, he's an inspirational, motivational guy, one could argue. You know, you clearly are looking to get people moving. This council is active. What does it take? Well, it uh, takes a lot of things. It takes also, I think, a public that uh, is impatient, mm -hmm. uh, and it takes uh, those who are managers of the city to actually do management and then having oversight of them, which is why my job is as the chief auditor of the city, as the person who puts out all of the data on the city and who works with those departments to get them to move. Do you feel as if those departments are appreciative of what you are doing, or is there pushback? Because look, I understand you're, you're kind of good cop, bad cop, but in the end, you know, this is Los Angeles. We are the creative capital of the world. We really should be in a place where we should be moving. We, we should be on, on the run, on the go. Absolutely. Well, look, some managers are better than others. Mm -hmm. Some appreciate uh, what we put out better than others, but uh, all of them uh, have been in one way or another getting on board, and they are encouraged to do so in a variety of ways right. uh, with the recommendations that we have. But our friends at the DWP seem to be, one could argue, the most recalcitrant of them all. And so, you know, given their history of feeling a bit separate from the city and not as if they're under the purview of the city, how do you use your bully pulpit to get them um, going? Well, DWP poses a unique set of challenges, to say the <laughs> well least. Well stated. Uh, there are many things that they do well, but there are also a lot of problems at DWP, mm -hmm. and the way that they've operated has not exactly been the most transparent. Mm -hmm. We actually created a site called utilitypanel.la, yes, <laughs> again, with their virtual checkbook, with everything they buy, uh, with the details of their payroll, first of all, to make this clear to everybody. And by the way, putting it also online begins to change behaviors. We also fought for a year and a half to do an audit, which we finally completed, of two trusts that were very and secretive. You'll come back and talk about it. Absolutely. He is Ron Galperin. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.